Kennedy Carter now with 12 points. Carter and Clark. Going back and forth with basketball, this all hoops. After we finish the game, it's all up. So Caitlin Clark is now playing in the WNBA. Yeah. She's finished at Iowa and she's a star. She's huge. She's the biggest star of anybody. And she's changing the numbers for the WNBA in massive ways. Let me just give you my team's info. 2020, the WNBA's average viewers on these, you know, ESPN, ABC, whatever, 205,000, 205,000. 2021, 306,000. 2022, 372,000. 2023, 505,000. Now with Caitlin Clark playing, 2.12 million in on May 14th, 1.71 million on May 16th, and one and a half million on May 18th. These are the highest ratings in more than 10 years. And it is 100% because of Caitlin, Caitlin Clark. Those are regular NBA ratings. Like if you get a yeah. couple million people watching an NBA game, you're pretty happy as a, as a network guy. She is the Michael Jordan. Like I know you're not a, ba a major basketball player. Him person, I know. But she is, she is the Michael Jordan of female basketball. Every single player in that league, every single coach, manager, janitor, anyone who has anything to do with that league should be bowing at the altar of this woman. She is transforming the sport into something mainstream, which is what the WNBA was set out to do when I think it started in 1994 or 1995. They have never had a mainstream star. They have had good players, obviously. They're not good enough to play in the men's league, which is why a women's league exists. And that's They're not okay. household names. But no, yeah, there were Cheryl Swoops 30 years ago. Some people kind of knew her is name. Is that her real name? Cheryl Swoops. It's a yeah. great name There's for a, a great for a basketball, basketball player. player. And she was, she was quite good. But the point is, you didn't hear about her, right? Like you'd really have to be an insider. Caitlin Clark has now broke that glass ceiling and they should be bowing at her. She's going to create jobs and money for and she's selling them. for everybody. So the other one, whether she is a lesbian or not, <laughs> like she should, to me, you kick her out of the league. She could have, she could have broke her let's neck. Show, let's that. show them yeah. what she did. Yeah. Okay, so there, so Caitlin Clark was playing in a game against, what's the name of the other team? It, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> okay, it, it doesn't, it doesn't Chicago, matter. thank yeah. you, Chicago. Let's show it, let's show it again. So this girl comes up to her from behind the ball is nowhere near them. Nowhere so there's an inbound her. pass about to come. Like that makes no sense. It, like if having watched and played basketball, it just makes no sense that you would do that. Like maybe if there was a pick and you were coming around the pick, you might crash into somebody. That is just abject, blatant. I am trying to hurt that person. And imagine if she had blown out her knee right there. Look, at That's this. it. And it was her expressing her anger. That's what was happening there. Yeah. This wasn't play. This was, I'm angry with you and I'm going to assault you. And the meme now out on this from, if you watch MSNBC and the rest of it is that the league- that they have a, they're sort of just in their anger at her because she's straight and white and a little prettier than some of the other girls. That is literally what they're saying. Yeah, it is literally what they're saying. So this woman, Kennedy, has no regrets at Insane. all. Insane. Here's what she's claiming now. Watch this up. We're, uh, heading, we're going back and forth with basketball. This all hoops. After we finish the game, it's all up. I don't have any regrets with anything. I'm going to compete and play 100% hard no matter who it is. Like it's the, it's the Whoopi Goldberg defense. Yeah. It's just rough on the court, but it's all love off the court. But listen to this, Daily Mail. It's the Miss Rachel thing. It's all love. It's all love. It's all love. But she doesn't have the weird small hands. <laughs> um, small hands bother me. That that chef Gia, it's freaky. It's she's freaky. got them too. Why are yeah. they like so tiny and in like close to the body? Velociraptor. I don't, <laughs> you're right. Like the whole, I don't understand. Yeah. Okay. Um, Daily Mail, July of 2021, Kennedy Carter was suspended for conduct detrimental to the team. According to reports around the time the suspension was issued, Carter got into an argument with another player on the Dream, Courtney Williams, who asked her to improve her attitude during a game. After the game ended, Carter went up to Williams in the locker room, telling her she wanted to fight. Once that request for an altercation was denied, Carter backed away. She did not play for the Dream again. Um, so apparently the, the Daily Mail reporting, she was kicked off of WNBA teams twice for a bad attitude. So I don't think she is all about the love off the court.